Now, let's look at something. 2012 is our present year. 1619 is the year that the first slaves arrived in this country. And the first place that we was at when we came to this country was the state of Virginia. You subtract that from 2012, you come up with 393. 393 years ago, we came to America. But we left our home 1,942 years ago, OK? So now, you get 1,942 years ago, which was the year 70 AD, when we came into the Mediterranean world because of Titus. 393 years since we've been in America, that leaves 1,549 years that we was in lowliness and obscurity in the Mediterranean world before we even got here. So therefore, we was over in Europe, we was in Rome, we was in Greek, we was in France, we was in Italy, we was in all of them places for 1,500 years before we even came here. Talking about the gladiators, we fought and was in the lion's den for sport for the Romans. You talk about the Olympics, we was the ones that was the Olympic contestants that entertained the Greeks and whatnot. That's why we still entertaining them with our football players and basketball and baseball players today. That's just the Greek and the Roman Colosseums to this day. We was doing that for 1,500 years before we come to America in lowliness and obscurity. You done went from being a holy nation, priest of the Most High God, the teachers of the world, to an entertainment figure. Ain't that something? Even though they paying them well, look at what we done reduced ourselves to. We done sold out. You know, we got to sing and we got to dance and we got to jump and fight and kick and bite and scratch to entertain them. They can't do it. <laughs> but they love their sport. And we are made sport of. So since 70 AD, we was 1,500 and 49 years of lowliness and obscurity before we came to America. For the last 393 years, we've been in this country. And our history is all we know is 393 years. And that have been a history filled with slavery, oppression, injustice, and inequality. Now, 